The movie revolves around a shy and introverted high schooler named Mei Takabana and the most popular boy in her school, Yamato Kurosawa. At the start, we see a cultural festival being held at the school, where Yamato takes part in the campus idol contest and wins. On the other hand, Mei doesn't seem enthusiastic and keeps to herself amidst all the noise. After the competition, Yamato heads back to class along with his mischievous friend, Kenji Nakanishi. On the way back, Kenji sees Mei standing beside the window and decides to deliberately push her, knocking her over. Despite this, Mei quickly gets up and leaves the area without muttering a single word. Yamato glances at her, and it's clear that he is interested in Mei. Kenji then reveals that she is his classmate and that no one has ever heard her speak. One day, Mei is seen climbing up the school stairs while Kenji and Yamato are behind her. Thinking of pulling off a joke, Kenji grabs her skirt and lightly tugs on it. But this time, a furious Mei suddenly turns around and kicks back. Kenji immediately steps aside and she hits Yamato, causing him to fall down the stairs. The other students are left in utter disbelief as this is the first time Mei has ever acted this way. They inform her that it was actually Kenji who pulled her skirt, but Mei doesn't care and leaves. This results in the incident spreading like wildfire amongst the students. Mei starts getting threats and insults in her locker for hurting Yamato and throws all the notes away. Seeing her distressed, Yamato approaches her and apologizes for the incident on the stairs. Out of nowhere, he also asks Mei to be his friend, but being the shy girl, she immediately refuses. Despite this, Yamato hands her a piece of paper with his number and asks Mei to call him any time. She accepts the paper and in return gives him a bandage before running off. After school, it turns out that Mei works part-time in a bakery. While working, a strange man enters the bakery and leaves after buying some bread. The man appears to be attracted to Mei in some way as he stares at her even after leaving the shop. The following day, Yamato goes up to Mei and says that he was waiting for a call from her. Mei responds by saying that she doesn't save anyone's number and is not fond of having friends. This is because she was a victim of severe bullying when she was a child. In the next scene, like always, Mei closes the bakery shop and heads home after work. On the way, she realizes that the same man from earlier is actually following her and watching her. Scared, Mei enters a bookstore and decides to call her mom for help, but unfortunately, her call goes unanswered. Now, since she doesn't have anyone else's number, she calls Yamato and explains the situation to him. Moments later, Yamato arrives at the bookstore and takes a look at the man who is still waiting outside. Immediately, he puts his arm around Mei and walks her outside. He then confesses his love for her and then kisses her in an attempt to send the man away. The plan works and the man leaves, disappointed. Mei, however, is in shock as it was her first kiss, as opposed to Yamato, who is experienced with this sort of thing. Afterwards, the two walk home, where Mei talks about her past trauma and all the bullying she has had to withstand. Sympathizing with her, Yamato says that she shouldn't hesitate to call him whenever she is in need, and says that he will always call her for help. Hearing this, Mei feels somewhat better and thanks him. The next day at school, the two greet each other when they pass. This surprises Kenji and another one of Yamato's friends, Asami. Later in the afternoon, Yamato invites Mei to karaoke with some of his other friends. Mei hesitates at first, but eventually agrees and joins the group. However, shortly after, she starts feeling uncomfortable because of the chaotic surroundings and leaves the room for a bit, followed by Asami. The latter asks Mei if she and Yamato have kissed before. Mei replies that it was only a one-time thing, but Asami reveals that almost all the girls have kissed Yamato, and now it has become somewhat of a greeting. Hearing this, Mei feels uneasy and frustrated, so she decides to grab her bag and leave. Yamato chases after her, and the two start to argue about the meaning behind his kiss. When Mei asserts that she doesn't like being kissed without a reason, Yamato grabs her by the arm and starts kissing her repeatedly, each time for a different reason. A greeting at first, a second for him finding Mei cute, and a third for the only girl he has ever liked. Mei doesn't say anything as Yamato continues to kiss her. The next day at school before Yamato and Mei go home, they hear Asami scream. They rush to the scene and find that Kenji had made perverted comments about Asami as a joke. Enraged, she slaps Kenji and leaves. Yamato then approaches Asami and tries to calm her down, while Mei goes to talk with Kenji and suggests he instead reveal his actual feelings for Asami as it turns out that he likes her. So, one day when Kenji and Asami meet, he finally expresses his love for her, and the two start dating. Seeing this, Yamato flirts with Mei and says that she will definitely confess her love for him someday. In the next scene, the two are out shopping when they bump into their schoolmates, Aiko Muto and Masashi Takawaka, who are also dating. Yamato openly says that Mei and him are dating, making Aiko envious of her. 
Afterwards, all of them go bowling, and while the boys are busy, Aiko suddenly lashes out at Mei. She reveals that Yamato had slept with her before, and she is confused about why he chose Mei instead of her. Later, as Yamato and Mei walk home, she stops and expresses her worries about him. She asks if he feels uncomfortable around a normal girl when he himself is such a popular person. Yamato interrupts Mei and takes her to his junior high school. There, he reveals that he once had a close friend. However, when the friend was bullied by other delinquent students, Yamato didn't dare defend him for his own sake. But after school, they would meet up secretly and talk like normal friends. Unfortunately, one day his friend changed schools, and ever since then, Yamato has felt very guilty about it. He hopes to meet that friend again to apologize. Yamato tells her this so that Mei will get some insight into his other side that others rarely get to experience. However, she changes the topic by bringing up Aiko and asks him if he slept with her. Yamato doesn't deny this rumor and says that it happened long before he met Mei. Hearing this, Mei decides to put their past experiences aside and says that she is ready to face all of the problems for him. Then, the two kiss each other. The next day at school, Yamato calls Aiko to meet on the roof where she again expresses her feelings for him. It turns out that she was once overweight and when she met Yamato, she went through rigorous exercise and lost weight. She shows him her stretch marks, but Yamato rejects her as he already has Mei. Afterwards, Mei and Aiko run into each other on the stairs, where they finally make up and become friends after expressing their true thoughts and feelings. The scene then cuts to the following year, where Aiko and Mei become classmates and are much closer to each other. Aiko then informs Mei about the new student, who is good-looking. It's revealed that the new student is actually Yamato's aforementioned former friend, Kai Takamura. Yamato was quite surprised by Kai's sudden enrollment in the school, but he still apologizes for the bullying he experienced. However, a stoic Kai wants to take revenge on all those that bullied him. One day, Mei is surprised to see Kai in the bakery shop, and the two introduce themselves. Kai reveals his desire for revenge against his bullies. However, Mei, who is also a victim of bullying, advises him that revenge will do no good and instead turn him into a bully. This makes Kai reconsider, but in the end, he decides to move forward with his revenge plan. Later, he approaches one of the guys who used to bully him and deliberately nudges him to instigate a fight. However, the guy simply apologizes and walks off. Kai explains the incident to Mei at school, and from afar, Yamato keeps an eye on them. It's evident he is jealous of the two spending more time together. The following day, Kai and Mei are again seen talking. Yamato overhears the conversation and learns that Mei is talking to Kai about something she cannot tell Yamato. Later, while still in a state of jealousy, he asks Mei what they were talking about, but she replies that it was not important. Yamato then immediately kisses her and asks her never to leave him. One day, Kai again goes to the bakery where Mei works and decides to accompany her home after her shift. On the way, he suddenly confesses his love for her, but as expected, Mei rejects him, saying she already has a boyfriend. At school, Yamato is telling Kenji about his recent insecurities when suddenly, Kai shows up and calls him to the side to talk. He then expresses his feelings for Mei and also reveals that she rejected him. Before departing, he asks Yamato to always protect Mei and to never hurt her feelings, to which he agrees. One day when Yamato is at dinner with his friends, he meets a girl named Megumi, who is a magazine model. It turns out that Megumi has secretly taken a photo of Yamato and shown it to her agency. The agency seems to be interested in working with Yamato. So Yamato accepts the offer and asks Mei and the others to come to his first photo shoot. However, during the shoot, when Yamato takes intimate photos with Megumi, Mei becomes jealous and storms off the set, crying. After the magazine gets published, everyone except Mei is happy for Yamato as he announces that he will work part-time for the agency. However, Mei suppresses her discomfort. As the days pass by, he begins to spend less time with Mei because of his modeling work. One day, she hears a rumor circulating around the school that Yamato and Megumi are going out. This breaks Mai's heart, and seeing her distress, Aiko and Asachi advise her to tell Yamato how she is truly feeling. However, when she heads back to class, she hears another rumor about Megumi and Yamato, which makes her run out of the school in despair. Witnessing this, Aiko tracks Yamato and tells him to clear things up with Mei, as she is a confused and innocent girl. On the other hand, Mei remembers what Aiko and Asachi had said, and decides to head back to school to talk with Yamato. They frantically search for each other, and eventually meet in the school hallway. Mei immediately runs towards him, and this time, she pulls Yamato by his tie and romantically kisses him. After they are done, Yamato apologizes to her and clarifies that nothing is going on between Megumi and him. Hearing this, Mei is finally relieved, and the two hug it out happily. 
The next day at Yamato's photo shoot, he resigns by saying that he has more important things to focus on and says goodbye to Megumi. His friends support his decision and seem happy to see Yamato and Mei properly reunited. The movie ends with Mei saying I love you to Yamato, which makes him blush.